Favela Gulf has reached the Manuk system. They have made contact with what appear to be two Scorpion ships. They are engaging in battle. All available hands to the bridge. The battle's already underway. Better get to the bridge. Status report. The Manuk fleet has already suffered heavy losses. They only have three vessels deployed currently, none of which have been able to attack effectively. Can you tell me, Ray, why is this Manuk fleet so inferior? Even up here in space, some folks have the technological leg up on others. Another Scorpion battleship is nearing the Manuk system. ETA, two hours, three minutes. How long until the Aldis arrives? Two hours, eleven minutes. However, we could become embroiled in battle at any time. I'm sure we'll be fine. Captain, update. We will arrive in the Manuk system in six minutes. The Vela Gulf has disabled one of the Scorpion vessels. They are currently in combat with two ships, including the one that arrived shortly before us. Way to go, Captain Curtis. Battleships sure are on a different level, aren't they? Captain, the Vela Gulf is hailing us. Putting on screen now. Vela Gulf to Aldis. We only have eight torpedoes left. Hardly enough to take out these last two ships. We're going to focus on stalling them. Can you cover us? You can count on it. We'll be pulling into your sector in three minutes. Much appreciated. Vela Gulf out. The two ships engaged with the Vela Gulf are now designated as Scorpion Ship Bravo and Scorpion Ship Charlie. Warp out directly into the orbital path between the Vela Gulf and Scorpion Ship Bravo. Trajectory set. Red alert. Deploy full defensive shields. Set to Omni. Load all six proton torpedo launchers. Arm the phase cannons. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Shields at full. Proton torpedoes loaded. Phase cannons initialized. Everyone get to your seats and strap in. It's about to get bumpy. Currently maintaining distances of 500,000 kilometers with Bravo and 760,000 with Charlie. Fire three torpedoes at Bravo and immediately reroute to course 60 Mark Zero. Proton torpedoes away. Impact in 11 minutes. The Vela Gulf has also launched a torpedo at Bravo. just fired four torpedoes at us. Activate auto evasion. Activating auto evasion. Ah, it's shaking! Keep quiet. You might bite your tongue otherwise. Three of the torpedoes will miss, but one cannot be avoided. Brace for impact. Hit. Shields at 76%. Restoring them now. Uh, the rumbling is like an earthquake. We get any hits in? All three torpedoes failed to connect. How could they miss at that interval? What sort of ship is that? Damn it! Open a channel to the Vela Gulf! Channel open! Captain, follow this. Can you handle this? We'll make it work. Just go! Set phase cannons to fire simultaneously on both Bravo and Charlie. Program salvo bursts to fire automatically in 10 second intervals on these coordinates. Understood. Divert to course 270, mark 180. Match the movements of the Vela Gulf. Roger, Captain. I'll do my best. The distance between Bravo and Charlie is 100,000 kilometers. Both ships are taking evasive action. Now, hit Bravo with all we've got! Two 
torpedoes have hit. Bravo has ceased turning. The Bella Gulf's attacks on Charlie also landed. Bullseye! Bravo and Charlie are on a collision course. Scorpium ships Bravo and Charlie have collided. Both battleships appear to have been immobilized. <laughs> yeah! <sighs> <sighs> oh, did... did we win? For now. Don't get out of your seat just yet, though. We don't know what's still out there. Captain, the Bella Gulf is hailing us. Excellent work, Captain Raymond. Thanks, but uh, it was the Vela Gulf that did all the heavy lifting. We just came in to steal the show. The real work starts now. What do you intend to do? We're gonna board one of the Scorpium ships with Duma and investigate inside. Understood. They may be quiet now, but you're likely to face some strong opposition. Be careful. For sure. And I trust you got our back if anything happens. Can you tell me which ship is the one that came from Aster? Is it Bravo or Charlie? Uh, don't tell me it was the ship that went down before we even got here. It is fortunate we have the data from Lola. Bravo is the one we seek. So we're boarding the Scorpion battleship? Yep, you got it. Let's make our way over there now. Transfer chamber. Oh, I simply wanted to try saying it. Did I do so correctly? And these? Portable optic deflectors. You can wear these to protect yourself from portable optical weaponry equivalent to a Federation phase gun. Hmm. I see. Wait, pray. What exactly does all that mean? It means that even if you're hit by a glowing gun, like the one Marielle was using, it won't kill you. But that's not a complete guarantee, so don't get too cocky. Note that it also offers defense from physical attacks, such as bullets or knives. Finally, please attach these magnetic soles to your footwear. You can switch them on and off by touching your heels. Indeed. Being free of gravity's shackles ought to be fun. Do not even think of wandering off. Upside down. Everyone, please remain calm. Turn your feet toward that surface there and touch your heels. Uh, okay, like this. <sighs> so, this is the inside of a Scorpion ship, huh? Which means we're in the belly of a living creature. It certainly does have that appearance. Rather unnerving. Where could Boldor be on a ship like this? If he's even still alive. All these... They were on this ship. We must hurry. If more Scorpium arrive, there's no telling what could happen. Strange. This vessel is... What's up? Ray. I am picking up multiple life signs ahead. Many of the Scorpium do not possess detectable life signs. I suggest exercising caution.
get through there.
Target sighted. Sweet! Initiate emergency protocols. In terms of external... Keep calm and eliminate the enemy. I will be your opponent in the force of the enemy. Threat detected ahead. say they all look quite different from each other the forms of life integrated into scorpion are not limited only to humanoids yeah makes sense if they can get as large as the ship i wonder what type of creature it used to be hold the damn phone isn't that a federation soldier's uniform belongs to a high-ranking officer. What does this mean? We can worry about that later. Captain Lewis Haynes, a military officer from Earth. Jeez, this proves things aren't looking good for the Federation underbelly. This raises the likelihood that the Centralist Scorpion have had direct influence on the Federation. A dead end. We should search the area. Never know what useful stuff we might happen on. Getting through this way. Better try somewhere else.
is before us. Copy that. Target sighted. Hey, we might be able to move this junk here with a little oomph. We made it! Let's keep moving. Target sighted. Hey, look, there seems to be some infighting. Ridiculous. Impossible. To deny something occurring in front of us? It doesn't match you. They also have Federation officer uniforms. <sighs> Must... We've only successfully <laughs> levels low. Wait, you are not of the Scorpium? Are you with Pangalactic Federation pursuers fighting in this system? And what if we are? We are not your foe. We do not wish to fight either. I beg of you, do with me as you will. But please, save the rest. The rest? Letizia, um, behind it. You were protecting these people from other Scorpium? The Centralist must not be allowed to have them. These are refugees of war who have lost their homes. Please, you must help them. And why should we believe you? You mean to say that the Centralist Scorpion do in fact exist? Aha! Doom! This will make things easy. It is hard to accept, but it would appear we must acknowledge the existence of the Centralist faction. What is the matter? The Scorpium that refer to themselves as Centralists are in rebellion against the existing network. They are attacking those the existing network has deemed suitable and assimilating them by force. This vessel, 
was headed for a scorpion colony, carrying those people behind me. However, the ones we took aboard on Aster 4 summoned the Centralists and we were dragged into this conflict. You refer to Bulldor, Valange, and Gaston. Wait a minute. So those two Veer were Centralists all along? Though Centralists, they are still Scorpion. It is merely a difference of thinking. They initially sought rescue simply because they lacked the means of reaching space. We responded out of a desire to aid our comrades. And because of that, all these people are now embroiled in a war? It's unforgivable. But this one is Scorpium too. And it's assimilating a large number of innocents into its collective. Fate was fair, it seems. It appears you have deemed integration into Scorpium as something malevolent. You are saying it is not? At least in my case, it was a means of survival. I became one with Scorpion by my own choice, and that of no one else. There are countless others, aside from myself, whose lives were saved by integration as well. Huh, well that was unexpected. Regardless, this vessel is doomed. I ask once more that you at least save these people behind me. I am going to put a stop to those who commandeered this ship. They are a danger to the Scorpium network. What do you want to do? Let's help. We're able to reason with him. And he can tell us more about the Scorpium. Right? Please? <sighs> Fine. So be it. You, uh, got a name, bud? Please, call me JJ. All right, JJ. We'll do all we can to help you out. But, in exchange, I want you to tell us everything about the Scorpion. Thank you. Whoa, whoa! I must paint a strange picture, bowing before you in this body. However, let this be proof that I remain still an individual, though I bear the form you now see. You have my heartfelt gratitude for saving the lives of my friends. Uh, what exactly is happening here? Target sighted. Sweet!
I was in charge of the supply. Thanks. We still got time before the ship goes down, yeah? We've got business to take care of a bit further in. I promise you we'll come back. Big priority. We've handled all the enemies in the area, so they should be safe here for the moment. Roger that. Very well. To the bridge. That's where you'll find them. Target sighted. Sweet! Enemies up ahead. What information do we have on those who took over the ship? Oh, well, there's... Volan. And Gaston. Wait. They're very... Thank you. I appreciate the intel. Uh, uh, what was that all about? It appears they are up ahead. We should ready ourselves before we make a move.
Valange, Gaston. Well, well, Princess Leticia. I did not expect you would dare to follow us all this way. Baldor, what have you done? Integration, my child. My power now exceeds imagining. It is no small wonder there are so many scorpions spread throughout the universe. But how? I am certain that man was not integrated when he first came aboard. There was still some time until our escort from Central would arrive, so we had him added to the network a tad early. From the wedding? The Emperor was most impressive. His integration went flawlessly. Baldor, what is it you hope to bring about with this power? As an Emperor, it is only natural to desire peace and prosperity for my people. Halcyon days lie ahead for the subjects of Vale in all of Aster IV through Scorpium integration. Our planet will be connected, one network, one beating heart, free of war and suffering. And you would still call them people? Yes. Nevertheless, I cannot allow Centralist Scorpion to bring such a thing to pass. Bulldor! Aster Four is not ready for this power from the stars. I shall end your ambitions here. Don't get cut. I... See you yet need You may run the sword. I have no desire to do. Nay, my sweet beloved dolphin. Integration, a witch. Has done peace without end. Has scorched you. Has made you all. <laughs> you are strong indeed, Scorpion warrior. Absurd. How can he be so strong so soon after integration? Yeah, no kidding. He's on a completely different level than other Scorpion. Emergency communication from the Vela Gulf. Ray, the Astoria is approaching Scorpion ship Bravo at high speed. The Astoria? Those bastards love to hide. Get out of there, Ray. They're gonna fire! It would seem we are done here. Yes, it would. Our escort from Central has arrived. The Astoria is connected with the Centralists? Would knowing that change anything? This ship will be destroyed, along with your own. 
Colonel Valange, is this truly what you desire? Lola lives. She awaits your return. There's no going back for me. I am truly sorry, Princess Leticia. I find myself unable to save you. Voldor! Damn it! It's the Astoria. They're changing course. And they've locked onto us. We can't shake them. And run! No! Stop! Please! The Bella Gulf! Chloe, transfer all detectable life signs aboard this ship! JJ, grab onto me! the Astoria. Captain Curtis, you saved our bacon. We only escaped thanks to you. Don't think you're out of the weeds just yet. The Astoria seems to have it out for you. Get out of here while we hold them off. The Federation should be the ones to atone for all this. Son of a bitch! Get us out of the Manuk system at max warp! All hands, brace for warp speed! Wait! We must help them! There's nothing we can do if we stay. The captain's efforts will be in vain. Entering emergency war. Course 180. Mark 180. Engines at maximum. No signs of pursuit. We have successfully escaped the Manuk system. Captain Curtis. What do we do now, Ray? JJ, I heard you say that Scorpium ship was an evacuation vessel. Can we have civil discussions with other non-centralist Scorpium like you? There are no hostile Scorpium among those who saved I and my comrades. What the hell are you talking about? That ship attacked the Akizuki! Only because your own vessel acted in a way that the Scorpium network deemed hostile. You were hiding and waiting for your chance to strike. That was a mistake in Scorpium's judgment. <laughs> hey, you know the coordinates of your destination? Don't tell me you're thinking of going straight to their base. We've lost Boldor and the others. We don't know whether the Vela Gulf survived. The Aldis can only sustain these evacuees for a couple days at most. Do we really have any other options? If you will give us passage to the colony, we of the Scorpion can promise to welcome the Aldis with open arms and with peace. JJ is not lying. I recommend cooperating with them in our investigation of these Centralists. Is your colony a Scorpium, too? And where the hell is it? It is a Scorpium construct in the form of a colony. You will find it 700 light years from here. There's no way we can travel that far. We can arrive swiftly if we pass through the wormhole 6.2 light years from here. Can you input the coordinates of the wormhole? Yes, a wormhole does indeed exist at this point. If we travel through it, we will reach the colony within 24 hours. We possess the key to the wormhole. The Aldis is now en route to the Scorpium colony. We're bringing the refugees home. My thanks. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Even are the Scorpion. Guess I might as well ask. Better head for the living quarters. We jumped into emergency warp right away. So. I've asked JJ to stay in a residential stateroom for now. 
Just doesn't feel quite right giving him the run of the ship yet. Why not go on one? What became of Captain Curtis? Can I ask what happened? Is he okay? Thanks. Speaking with JJ about the Scorpion would be wise. He most likely possesses information that we do not. painful to raise arms against former comrades, though they so obviously stand with the enemy now. Damn, the Boldor tried to obliterate this ship. My apologies to those seeking a swift return, but this act cannot go unpunished. had gone forward as planned the princess too might have been transformed into one of these scorpion well looks like everyone had the same idea yes i'd like to learn as much from jj as i can but I'm not quite sure how exactly to ask. If there is something you need, then please enter. There you go. Captain Raymond, thank you once again for offering us your protection. I am truly grateful. Don't worry about it. Actually, I came hoping you might tell us more about the Scorpion. Has Duma told you nothing? Mainly general information. However, we have never had the chance to speak with someone who became a part of the Scorpion directly. You wish to know if Scorpion is your enemy? Correct. I saw a great many of my comrades that had been integrated beyond the point of recognition on the ship where we met you. They were unquestionably hostile not only towards me, but towards Raymond and Leticia as well. 
But then, we found you fighting to protect all those refugees. Is that not normal? Normal? They had their objectives and acted to remove any irregularities in its completion, which in this case would be all of you. I, too, had my own objective and sought your help to achieve it. Um, well, yes, that is all true, I suppose. But is Scorpion... A monstrous invader that transforms people into something they are not? That's how it seems to me. The same mistaken belief prevailed on my home planet as well. The belief that those who merged with Scorpion became creatures so utterly alien that they were incapable of conscious thought. But this is not the case. Am I myself not proof of this as I stand before you? So you, uh, Scorpion, are basically just robots or androids? Maybe cyborgs? I would contend that none of those terms accurately describe my current state. I am a humanoid that has almost fully physically integrated with Scorpion. But why would you do that? To evolve. Duma said that too, but is it evolution to turn your body all mechanical? Conversion of the organic body is the process, not the means. The unified purpose brought forth by integration with Scorpion is connection with the Scorpion network that spans this vast galaxy. So you plug humans into this network? The Duma that came to my world also phrased many things in a way that invited misunderstanding. It is a concept that is easily grasped after integration, but difficult to comprehend prior to that. I believe that the evolution I gained through integration with Scorpion can be found here, and also here. Many different organic life forms join with Scorpion but at least for we humanoids, history has proven that evolution of the mind and heart is possible, has it not? I know these ideas are not easy to comprehend. I alone am not capable of conveying them properly, and I also understand the feelings of those who find Scorpio difficult to accept. However, I would not have lived a full life had I not gained this body. Thus, I have not even one iota of regret. All I ask is that you at least understand this. Very well. I don't get it, though. What about those Federation officers? There's gotta be something we're missing. We're really gonna have to open our minds if we want to wrap our heads around any of this. You mean to say that what we know is limited by what we have seen, and we are yet to understand the full extent of what has happened? Yeah, exactly. You're getting all of this pretty quick, Leticia. Well, you have proven to be quite the teacher. All of this has given me a headache. <sighs> I'm going to go get some rest. I should probably get some rest too. Give myself some time to process all of this. So the Scorpium are not so dissimilar from us. They possess wills of their own, purposes for which they fight. About time for a rest. Mm, this is pretty good. About time for a rest.
This is pretty good. We have arrived at the wormhole. About time for a rest. This is pretty good. Right then, guess we ought to check out what this wormhole's all about. Time to head for the bridge. Come to think of it, uh, how does one use a wormhole? It's not the same as warp, right? There should be a Scorpium space-time stabilizer affixed to the edge of the wormhole. How do you affix something to a wormhole? Ah, that thing. There it is. We need you to access it and send the code in the specified format. I should do it? Can you do it, Elena? I will try. Displaying coordinates to screen. Acquiring destination. Sending. Preparations are complete. You may now enter the wormhole in conventional space. All right. Keep the thrusters at half power as we head in. Entering the wormhole at half thrust. <sighs> well, that sent a chill down my spine. Man, if we can start jumping through space like this, we wouldn't even need warp drives anymore. There are only five stable wormholes within the entirety of Scorpium's range in this galactic system. They do not allow for travel to unexplored space. The warp drive is a necessary technology for the evolution of life and humanoid races. The evolution of humanoid races, huh? Hmm. The end of the wormhole is coming up ahead. What the? We're at the end? Now exiting the wormhole. Space-time readings are showing major discrepancies. Recalibrating sensors now. Did, uh, we get through without a hitch? Calibration complete. Our current position is Sector Beta. 713 light years from our position prior to entering the wormhole. <sighs> Seriously? Long range sensors detect an object equivalent to a space colony 2.1 light years from here. This is one of the colony form Scorpium constructs and the destination of JJ. It is named Parapium. You may proceed forward. The colony has a suitable space dock for entry. So based on what you've said, that dock and this whole colony is all part of Scorpium. Correct. You've got to be kidding me. Ariel, can you go wind up JJ and uh, I'd feel a lot more comfortable if he was here as we go in. Understood. Hello? I've communicated with Perapium. You may use the dock, or transfer, if that is to your preference. A port has been opened specifically for the Aldus. So no danger, right? There is no Scorpium here who view the Aldus as an enemy. The Aldus is welcomed. There is nothing to fear. Gotcha. Yeah, it'd be pretty lame to turn around and chicken out at this point. Let's go, everyone. Indeed. I dare say we will be fine. Yeah, exactly.